In the European Union, it's six times more expensive to apply for a patent. It means there's a de facto tax on innovation. Minister van Quickenborn, you're running the industrial policy under the Belgian presidency in the second half of 2010. What would you like to change when it comes to this European patent? Well, we would like to introduce a EU patent, a uh, common EU patent for the whole of Europe, uh, where we can uh, really lower the, uh, the fees that people have to pay, companies have to pay today to introduce that patent. Uh, today, if you want to file a patent in all 27 countries, uh, only for translation costs you have to pay like 12, up to 12,000 euros. Uh, the Commission has launched a proposal to reduce that to 700 euros, so this is a significant reduction of the cost. And it's now uh, up to me, uh, as the uh, presidency, uh, the Belgian presidency, to convince my uh, 26 colleagues in the European Council, uh, European Ministers of Economy, uh, to uh, accept that proposal. Uh, so that we can uh, finally have that European patent, a file which is um, yeah, going on now, a discussion going on since, uh, since the 50s of last century. You've told the European Parliament that you would dedicate basically 80% uh, of your energy to get that patent. Will there be a breakthrough by the end of the presidency? Well, uh, we're now uh, president since uh, the 1st of July, so we're 14 days uh, uh, under steam, uh, and I've already met... Uh, key players in that area. I've seen uh, not only European Parliament but also uh, the Commissioner Barnier. I will meet my colleague in London next week. I will do uh, city by city, uh, uh, conversation by conversation, trying to convince my colleagues how important that is and uh, uh, we will look for a breakthrough by the end of September this year. At this stage, what obstacle do you see? Well, the obstacle is of course language regimes and this, the proposal that the Commission has uh, filed uh, concerns a, uh, a, a pr uh, possibility to file, introduce and treat and publish the patent in uh, uh, English, uh, French or German, the choice you have to make, uh, with a, tr a translation that is provided for uh, by uh, the Commission itself. Um, of course, this is limited to three languages and doesn't scope the whole of all languages uh, in Europe. And that's a choice that we have to make. But uh, for sure, I think today we have to choose for competitiveness. Uh, and that is the main uh, focus for, for me. We're here in Antwerp today. We're talking about the European chemicals industry, which is uh, suffering from a lack of competitiveness. You've literally said yourself that the chemicals industry is at risk. How will that patent, for example, uh, or that improved patent regulation, for example, help an industry like the chemicals industry? Well, uh, I think the patent issue is, a, is not the only issue, but it is an important issue for the chemical industry because the chemical industry is really an industry with a lot of innovation, innovation that has to be protected. And if the cost to protect it is uh, six times higher here than in the United States or Japan, the, uh, the industry is at risk when it comes to innovation. So I think by filing such a patent, making it cheaper and more efficient uh, with uh, one tribunal also for Europe, it will make it uh, far more easier and more efficient. That's uh, wh what we're looking at. But of course, there are many other areas where we should look for more competitiveness for the sector. The chemicals industry likes to position itself as, as a, uh, a, a, a roots for a sustainable economy. That is also the title of this conference today. What can be done in terms of improving that sustainability of the industry? Well, if you look at the actual situation, uh, people always say chemical industry is bad industry, is old industry. That's not true, because today the chemical industry uh, often lies at the basis of uh, green products and green services. Uh, think, for example, about isolation of houses, uh, of cars. Uh, and of industries. Well, all the iso isolation is produced by this industry. And for each ton of CO2 emission that is uh, uh, emitted by this industry, they make products uh, that reduce the CO2 emissions by 2.6 tons. So this is a pretty clean uh, industry, although it needs a lot of energy. So what we need is, first of all, competitiveness, so that the actual cost of energy stays reasonable and comparable with other continents. And secondly, what we need is more innovation. Uh, if we want to grow in that sector, on this continent, uh, it has to come from innovation uh, in its isolation and in many other areas uh, that are imaginable.